Uh, well, uh, I kind of had a race plan going in, and I wanted to take off as off the blocks as fast as I could. And the first hundred just build up to a speed that I could maintain until that back stretch down there, and then I saw hair kind of creeping up on me. So I just took off on the back stretch, just gave it all I had left. Have you not really raced the 400 this year? I guess where did where did this strategy come from? You've been uh, taking notes from your coach, or what? Where did it come uh, from? Oh yeah, I was looking online at some university athletes that run the 400, and that just sounded like something I thought I'd try. So, but I haven't had a uh, many opportunity to run the 400 this year because I think we've had three track meets because of all the rain and bad weather. So I haven't had much. Uh, much practice yet. What's it mean to you to beat a guy like Herrick who's kind of owned the quarter over the last several years? You know, it, it feels good on the inside, but my body's aching. <laughs> uh, goals for you, I guess, uh, not so much today, but looking ahead is, is at districts and stuff like that. You had a great four by two team last year. What are what are your goals? Uh, yeah, we like uh, take a couple of relays to state again this year and Hopefully, if the coach puts me in, I'll qualify for state in the 400. So, all right. Well, That's congrats. Cool. congrats on the win today. Oh, it's uh, feels pretty rewarding, I guess, uh, that you've worked for that so long, and then you finally get that goal there that you set. So, pretty awesome. Yeah, you came here on Friday night, pretty much against the same kind of competition, and broke the meet yep. record and yeah. got the win there. So, I guess you kind of got a good idea of what you were up against. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about that a little bit. Um, well, I know that. Uh, Jill Vanderhoof and Amanda and all them from Villisca and Sydney, they're real good throwers and I know some days they might have good days and so you kind of are scared for that as you don't know what they're going to throw one day and it's the same for me so you don't really know where you're going to be so you just go out there and throw your best and hope that it's better than their best that they throw. What kind of goals do you have set in that uh, in that event this year as far as looking at districts? I don't even know where you guys are headed. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to West Harrison. Okay. Talk or, about your goals for that. Um. Well. Obviously, I want to. I want to try to get to state. I've kind of wanted that all three of my years so far, and I've been close, but haven't quite gotten it. So I want to just be able to get past that and uh, make it this year. All right. Well, congrats on the win today. Thank you. So. Um. Well, I'd never run miles, but coach always told me I'm a great competitor, and he said if I get in a race and run, he had me run at Shenandoah, mm -hmm. and they obviously have a standout track star in Sean Skillion. Um. And he told me to stick with him the whole time, so. Right at the gun, I stayed with him, and then the last 150, he ran away from me. And that kind of showed me how to run the mile. But I've got some great competition here in the Corner Conference, and Blake Harvey and uh, the Smith kid from Clarinda, and obviously Austin Sorensen. So it was a fun race to win. Uh, the trophy as well, bringing that back home, that's pretty big. Yeah, it's, it's really big because every uh, the last two, three years, we've had Kirk Shank battling with Thompson, mm -hmm. and he could never hold him off. But uh, it feels good to get it back in Sydney since that's where it originated from. What's, uh, what's the goals for you the rest of this? Uh, not, not this meet, but maybe down the road here, districts and stuff like that. Where do you, th where do you think you're going to go? I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I mean, nothing's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great competition at, at districts, so we'll just wait and see what I can do. Back in the mile, though? Um, I hope not. I hate running <laughs> them, but uh, I think... We might try in the 4x8 or distance med. Okay. Well, congrats on the win. All right, thank you. Well, like, I don't know, like, when I ran it, I don't know, it was a tough it was a tough spot for me. Like, I don't know, like, they just told me to keep pushing myself no matter what, what place I'm in, just keep pushing myself, you know, because, you know, I run against a lot of good runners, hard runners out there. I'm not going to say I'm not the I'm the only, I'm not the good the goodest runner out there, but, you know, I try my best out there. I just, I don't know, I just keep pushing myself no matter what, you know, if, if I'm in 6th, 7th, I really, you know, I'm just going to keep pushing myself. Doesn't really matter what place I'm in. I'm just, you know, it just takes a lot of uh, courage to get out there and run your race and stuff. Uh, obviously, your uh, best today was good enough in the in the two mile. Uh, what's that mean for you to, to to take home a championship like that in the corner conference? Well, I don't know. I'm pretty happy about it. You know, I didn't, I came in here. I, I came nervous. I didn't really know. I didn't really think I was gonna win it. You know, because there's a lot of hard workers out there. There's a lot of good runners out there. You know, I didn't. I didn't really think I was gonna win it at all. I think I was. I thought I was gonna place at least second or third. But you know, I just tried my best out there. You know, uh, burn it all out and trying to, you know, trying to do the best out there I can so I can win this. I've been looking forward to this all weekend, all week. You know, it's my motivation. Tracks my motivation, and you know, I just try my best every single day. How about? Uh the mile race there it came in sixth place so your feelings on how you ran that race well yeah um i don't know when a mile you know i was pretty tired after the two mile you know i didn't really get that much rest but i stayed you know stretching 
uh, you know, stay loose and stuff so I could get ready for the mile. You know, it was it was pretty hard out there. There's a lot of good runners out there, and I respect that. You know, I just, you know, ran my hardest out there, and I never gave up. All right, congratulations on uh, your two-mile win. Thank you. Yeah, Renata is an amazing runner. I, I mean, I've been watching her all year. Haven't been able to run opens against her much because we haven't had many track meets, but she beat me in Hamburg, and that really made me want to beat her. So uh, I set my mind before the track meet that I was going to go get it, and stuck with her the whole 600 meters and then got her on the last two so it was exciting 800 uh is this your best race you like the 800 i don't mind it i, I really like fours and eights um i love the 800 because i love the kick yeah. but uh sometimes that's not the best quality to have in a runner but, but that's what i do um how much did uh, my chiding you a little bit about not winning this year motivate you? I mean, was that the was that the what got you down the back stretch there? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll give that to you. It's been a lot of a lot of people telling me. I mean, I've heard I hear how good she is, and I've told her. I mean, take it as a compliment how excited I am that I beat her because I've been there and it sucks to lose, but it's great to win. So. <laughs> and one second off the school record, huh? Yeah, one second. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously a couple more chances for you. Is that a definite goal for you? Yes, it's been a goal since eighth grade. I, I want to get that before I graduate. All right, congrats. Thank you.